Well, it's not often. Kim will throw first for I the get ball. A chance to do that. But Daryl Gurney, you feel, will be letting out those kind of rules on a more regular basis 25. because he's been threatening to do this for quite some time. Made a number of semi finals, obviously that Euro Tour final 25. as well. He had two major semi finals, for the ball. remember. Players' Championship finals back in 2015. And then obviously the recent UK Open semi final. But 25. he hasn't won a PDC title. And he said, that's a bullseye. Just a Kim few weeks ago, that that's his next thing. He needs to win something. He needs to show that he can turn up to events like this with 128 players and be the best on the day. Well, he's given himself an opportunity here, but he's going to have to overcome the top player in Belgium and one of the top players in world darts in Kim Hybrex. And a guy who, well, if you look at the results, he's been playing some very, very good stuff. All the way through this year, even though his Premier League campaign hasn't been great. Yeah, been looking at his form line earlier today. And Kim Hybrex has been, as you said, Dan, reaching quarterfinals, semifinals, hit a nine dart finish here in Barnsley last month. Earlier today, he beat James Wade 6 0 with 106 average. Not bad. 85. Well, Gurney has just come off the back of victory over Gerwin Price, his first ever win against Gerwin Price. Five times they've met now, he's, he's won one of them. As Kim, first 180 for the Belgian. A hurricane, very capable of firing in big scores, but so is this man, believes his scoring power can rival the best in the game. Of course, no Michael Van Gogh or Gary Anderson in contention today, but... Kim Hybrex did knock out the number one seed, Peter Wright, and the favourite for the tournament. So, certainly those wins, especially against Wade and Wright, give us an idea to the kind of darts that Kim Hybrex has been throwing today. And now he wants double 12 for the first leg. That's a mile away. Game but that's not first leg. Kim right on target. Second leg, it's Daryl to throw first. Well, Kim Hybrex, for a number of months now, has been struggling with injuries of one sort or another. The recurring one, as Gurney fires in his first 180. The recurring one is a, basically tennis elbow. He's got his having acupuncture. He's refused 57. to take some time away just to try and let it heal. He's just trying to manage it and playing on. Says he's a fighter. Doesn't want to stop playing. Wants to keep going out there and, and seeing what he can do. And Well, fair play to him. Because he's still managing to win games. And, and look, the Premier League campaign, obviously, he was eliminated before Judgment Night. But once again, Kim Hybrex put himself in positions in games during the Premier League where he should have got more points than he eventually did, to be honest. He threw some points away. Yeah, despite elimination twice, I would be very surprised if we didn't see Kim Hybrex in the Premier League again, at least in the next couple of years. Be surprised if we didn't see Daryl Gurney there in the next couple of years as he takes out 90 to level up this tie. Barry Hearn himself said that Daryl Gurney was mentioned as a possible contender for the Premier League last year and he's also been rewarded for his form with a place in the Las Vegas World Series event. Yeah, well, that semi final between Gurney and Price saw two guys who you think have been earmarked 95. by the PDC for greater things. They're obviously appearing on the World Series this year. Price in Dubai, which will be the first one. Gurney's going to turn up in Vegas as Kim Hybrex makes it 180 number two. We've had three maximums in two and a half legs. Yeah, high rolling here in Barnsley right now. Kim Hybrex kicking off. Hybrex, as, a, as I said, he had that win against James Wade that 55. I saw earlier on this board and then beat Jem, Jermaine Watamina 6-3 fairly comfortably again. Never really looks like giving away that game either. Daryl Gurney, I saw on stream board to storm into a 5-0 lead in his second round match against Vincent Kampaus. And he was just perfectly on point for the first four legs of that match. Just found his range completely and then just lost four legs in a row. It all went wrong for Gurney. He was hitting a lot of low darts, but he seems to have rediscovered it. And I... Yeah, he, he wanted the bullseye there, did he? 
He yeah. did, and Kim Hybrex, that wonderful setup shot, the 174, means that he's looking at double 16. It is his favourite double. Oh, and he's missed inside, and Daryl Gurney looking at 25 now. Nine for double eight for a break of throw and to go into the lead for the first time in this one. Double four. And there it is. Super chin breaks and goes into the lead. Well, this is Daryl Gurney's second PDC final, having reached the decider at the Dutch Darts Masters in Venray last February. Uh, Kim Hybrex hasn't been in a final since last September. Lost to Mensah Suljevic 6-5. On that occasion, a miss a lot of darts to win that match, Dan. But he hasn't won a title since 2015, so it, it could be a big day for whoever wins this match. Wow. Yeah, and... Kim knows what it takes to go all the way. He's won four PDC titles, two of them European tours, and there are very few people who've actually won more than one Euro tour. It's only a, a very elite group of six players. Uh, Peter Wright joining that list most recently. But Kim won the Dutch Darts Masters. That was in Veldhoven. Beat Brendan Dolan when Brendan really was just coming to the very peak of his form. But he beat Peter Wright in that second Euro tour win in the final. Gurney just straying into the treble five. The other two, he won a UK Open qualifier. Got to go back to 2013 for that. Beat John Part. And he won the tournament in Killarney. Where he smashed up Kevin Painter, 6-0. Well, in that tournament in Killarney, he beat Daryl Gurney en route to that title. And he also beat the Northern Irishman in his very last... PDC title victory that you just mentioned, the International Darts Open. So when Kim Hybrex beats Daryl Gurney, he wins titles. And I can assure you that if he beats him today, he'll win the title as well. That is true, but this opens up a two-leg gap. Daryl Gurney takes out 44 on double 16. We've got a little bit of daylight between these two. And Daryl Gurney, even though he's only beaten Kim Hybrex twice, he won their first meeting. It's nearly a decade ago. That was back in the BDO. Gurney looking to fill it up. 125. The only other win he's got against Kim Hybrex. He, he won back in 2008, but he's lost five of their six previous me uh, six oh, meetings following that. But the one win he did have was in that breakthrough performance in the Players' Championship Finals in 2015. He beat Kim Hybrex. He beat Gary Anderson. Made it to the semi-finals. His first big TV semi-final. And, of course, he comes into this weekend, having very recently made his second big TV semi-final at the UK Open. Yeah, one of three semi-finals he's made this year, Daryl Gurney, including today. 139. Hasn't been past that stage until today this year. Now, can he get past the final hurdle for the first time? 40. He's in a good position right now, and... That visit from Hybrex does leave the door ajar. If Gurney can... Oh, what a shot that is. 112 checkout. And Daryl Gurney is 4-1 up and throwing for a 5-1 lead here in the final. And is just on the verge of his first PDC title. Well, can he control the nerves? He's talked repeatedly. Mainly on about big stage games. Where Daryl Gurney has had problems trying to control the adrenaline, trying to control his emotions. You've seen him. I remember that game against Mark Webster where he basically sulked his way through the final set of the match at the World Championship. And it looked like he was like a big stroppy teenager. But he was actually just trying to keep a lid on things. The crowd are against him and everything. Now, is that going to start playing a part when that first PDC title is within touching distance? He has set this as a target for his career. The next target he needs to achieve, winning something. Just showing he can do it. And as the finish line gets closer, 99. is that going to play a part? Kim Hybrex knows what it takes. He's done it four times before. Well, it's edging ever closer. 128. For Gurney, but that's a good visit from Kim Hybrex. Gets himself down to a finish. But Gurney already will be placed rather more handily. And this 140 may have to go. 1-1-2 one, one, in the last leg from Gurney. It's not going to go. If he takes that 1-1-3 one, one, here, surely he'll get many, many chances to win this match and this title. 
Well, <laughs> he strayed into the fives last time and he got away with it. 81. This time, not so lucky. So Kim Hybrex to break back immediately. Treble 10 is there. Double 16, is it there? He missed three darts at this earlier on. Nick cost him. And he's missed two darts at it now. And Daryl Gurney to go within a leg of his first PDC title. Double 16, it's his double of choice. Can he take it out? Has to step across to find a clear route. It's getting even more difficult. No score. And he hasn't found a way. And will Kim Hybrex find a way to overturn a 4-1 deficit? Okay, well, he's going him. about it the right way. Kim Hybrex does claw back a leg, and it is a break of throw. But Daryl Gurney, those three darts miss there. Was he thinking about it? Was he thinking? This? I'm a leg away here. I'm a leg away here. 5-1. There's no coming back from 5-1. Look who I've beaten today. 81. I can assure you that's not what he should be thinking, but maybe he couldn't help it. But maybe he's just shrugged that off and going to fire in a maximum. 180. That's exactly what he's done. 180 number two for the Northern Irishman. Well, you saw the semi-final against Gerwin Price, Dan, over on Streamboard 1. How did he shrug off the challenge of Gerwin Price? Uh, to be honest, it was nip and tuck right the way through. Every single game those two have played, it's gone 10 or 11 legs. And it went 10 legs, and it was very, very close. But Daryl Gurney, he managed to, as I say, keep a lid on things, seem to maintain his focus. He's not the most demonstrative player, either on stage or in the floor tournaments. He's very business-like. He, you know, he doesn't give much away. There'll be little, tiny little celebrations. You know, clench of the fist, a little grunt occasionally. Well, the game before that, as Hybrex hammers home a maximum, the game before that, Dan Gurney beat Steve Lennon, uh, and that was a brilliant game. Went all 11 legs, and neither player really flinched. Gurney had to survive a missed start of the bullseye from Lennon for a 1-6-1 checkout. Now, Hybrex wants double top to move within one, double 10. And the seventh leg, Kim Hybrex. Eighth leg, it's Daryl to throw first. Huge leg, this one. Absolutely huge. Daryl Gurney missed three darts for a 5-1 lead. If Kim Hybrex can find a break of throw here, he becomes favourite for this title. Well, it's going the right way about it, Dan. Off with a max. Hybrex making his move. Can Gurney stand up to him? Well, that is superb, and you see, just a little clench of the fist. He knows how important that was. 180 from Hybrex. Gurney replies in kind. That gets him down to 2-2-1, and he's kind of wrestled back his own throw here. But again, straying into the five. 45. And now, he is not on a finish, and Hybrex could be. Needs a treble. Gets the treble. one four, four for high breaks, and he is going to get a go at it. Daryl Gurney. Stay in there. 100. 76. Now, huge, huge moment in this game. The next two visits could determine who goes on to win this. It is not going to be high breaks taking out the one four, four. Gurney may have to take out the 76, though. 67 left. Uh, 67 left. 77 scored. Hybrex just doing his sums, doing the right thing, asking the official. 94. And he's left 60, so we felt 50, sorry. So we thought Gurney may have to take this out, and he's going to get two darts and only needs and one. Daryl Gurney. Now, he wondered if Daryl Gurney would falter at the finish. He hasn't shown signs of doing that yet, but now he is one leg away from that so 59. far elusive PDC title. Well, we saw plenty of checkouts from both men like that. Round about 70, 80 in the Gerwin Price Gurney semi final. And Gurney, he has the finishing line in sight. He has hit 180s in the last three legs. And that first PDC title, it is within his grasp. Can he reach out and grab it? Well, he's charging towards it, Daryl Gurney. No signs of faltering at the finish line. Oh, and almost, almost teed up the potential for a perfect leg for victory.
But now came Hybrex. Well, it's out of his hands, and it's all in Daryl Gurney's hands. 96. Well, Daryl Gurney, an absolute dream. If you're going to go on and claim your first title, it would be a dream to do it under no pressure with your opponent miles and miles away, not sat on double 16 to try and tie it up. But he is going to get matched arts, and Hybrex is not down to a finish. Gurney, 82 points stand between the Northern Irishman and his first PDC title. Double top is what he wants to close it out with a 12 darter, and he pulls it low. Well, Hybrex can only hope to hammer in the high score and apply the pressure and make Daryl Gurney think because he does not want to think. And Hybrex has found two trebles. Gurney takes aim at double 10. Oh, awkward. Tricky. Game but he shot. gets it. It's glory Gurney. for Gurney. And look what it means to him. He's on his knees. He can't believe it. Daryl Gurney is a PDC title winner, defeating Kim Hybrex 6-3 in the final of Players' Championship 7. And look what it means to Daryl Gurney. A fantastic performance. Didn't show signs of buckling. Okay, a couple of missed starts at the end. But Gurney got the do job done. Beat Gerwin Price, beat Steve Lennon, beat Scott Taylor, and now he's beating Kim Hybrex, and he's going to have a word with Dan Dawson. Here's your winner, Daryl Gurney. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> that is what winning means to this man. Daryl, we're talking into that camera right there. You have won your first PDC title. Just talk us through your emotions. I don't want to stand still. I want to jump right in the <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a while coming, but you've been threatening to do this, haven't you? I have um, so many semi-finals, so many quarter-finals, last 16. Everything but getting to the final. And then whenever I get to the final, and the first chance I get, I win it. So um, over the moon is a wee bit under a statement. No, uh, and I, I can't believe it myself. I can't believe it because I've, I've messed up so many days that I've been playing probably better than what I've been playing today. And somebody's came out, took a big finish and beat me. And today I just, I don't know many, I won a couple of six fives and I, I did not let it get to me. I think I'd done like 12 darters and six fives against the throw. So. Woo! Well, indeed. Look, there was an incredible semi-final against Gerwin Price, your first ever professional win against Gerwin. You've yeah. beaten Kim Hybrex, who's a man who knows how to win PDC titles. 128 players came here today. Yeah. You're the best one. Have you proven something to yourself and perhaps to everybody else? Uh, I, I mean, uh, I think there, I mean, there's a lot of players out there that knows I can win one of these, but you can't say you, you've won anything until you've actually stepped over that, that bit of ground that says... You're a winner. Um, so, uh, I'm speechless. Nearly, I'm, I'm nearly speechless, and you know me, and I know you, you <laughs> and you're never speechless, but I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> well, I'm still going to try and get something more out of you. Yeah. You've just been included in the World Series. Yeah. Do you think this, you said this was a target. Do you think this answers some questions? People might be going, well, he's not won anything yet. Yeah. Now you have. Yeah, no, I mean, my consistency was there way uh, tournaments the whole way probably from the start of this year. And the only thing I was really missing in my eyes was getting to a final. If I got to a final, that made it a slight wee statement, but if I could get to a final and win it, I thought to myself, no, man, that's, uh, th that was the overall plan, but because I blew it so many times uh, this year already, because, I, I mean, today I, I played well. Uh, all through the year I've been playing even better. I mean, l last Sunday I got... Uh, I won with 102, 104, and got beat with 106 by Barnevald. I mean, I, I, didn't, I couldn't even win the board, with, and I was averaging over 100. So, uh, it's unbelievable. You've got one now, Daryl. Do you think, now you've got over the lot, the floodgates could open? No, 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 no. Uh, the way I see it is, whoever wins one, there's a bigger bullseye in the back of their shirt. Uh, so, tomorrow, tomorrow, whenever it comes again, 12 o'clock, I'm going to be lucky to get shot down, but uh, I'm going to relax now the night and probably jump up and down in my bed and <laughs> probably hit my head off the wall or off the, head, uh, off the ceiling, sorry. Um, but um, um, 
I'm over the moon. Well, well done. Congratulations, Daryl. Thank you, Paul. Superb stuff. Uh, seven tournaments we've had in the Players' Championship Series uh, so far this year. Seven different winners. This man claiming his first PDC title. Will it be eight out of eight? Find out tomorrow, live from the Barnsley Metrodome. 12 o'clock start.